Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Friday the 11th of September 2020. Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive uh, reading. Remember you guys to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. Alright, let's see what messages and energies we have coming through here for Friday the 11th. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, so we have the energy of patience. I'll read this in just a moment. Let me go ahead and get all your cards shuffled and laid out, and then we will dive in. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have for us for Friday the 11th? Okay. Happiness. Nice. All right, Spirit, Friday the 11th, what do we need to know? Thank you, thank you, angels, thank you, guides, thank you, ascended masters. All right. What do we need to know, Spirit? Friday the 11th, of September 2020. All right, we're ready. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Star. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. We have Temperance. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Hierophant. Okay. And you guys, my grandchildren are running around playing downstairs. So just keep in mind that they are safe and they are fine, okay? Right. You know, there's a lot of balance, okay, that's uh, balancing your energies, balancing your relationships. You know, you guys are working really hard to get something just right. I feel like you're taking action on a new beginning in some area of your life, and you want to make sure it's just right. Okay. I feel like timing is playing a part here as well. I'm getting seven weeks, six to seven weeks. Okay. Some of you could be finishing a course or a class in seven weeks that's going to allow for you to be able to unlock some doors that were locked because you didn't have the certificate or the degree or whatever it was that you needed. Okay, to be able to unlock that door. Some of you, you definitely could be moving up within a company or corporation as well. This could also be a promotion, a pay raise. All right. So we have patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Beautiful. All right. And, you know, I, I'm getting that divine timing with this Three of Swords as well, you guys, okay? Um, something is going to take place in six to seven weeks that's really going to allow for you to step into your power, okay? And I do feel like it's career-related, all right? Now, we have happiness. You know, when I pulled this, you guys, I... I the energy that I got and what came through was, you know, it's a choice to be happy, okay? Are you going to choose to be happy Friday the 11th or are you going to choose to maybe struggle or be in a bad mood, okay? Remember, our moods, whether we're in a, a bad mood, a good mood, whether we're happy, we're sad, it's, an, it's a choice, okay? Remember that. Somebody needs to hear that. 
All right, so we have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, whether you're female or male. And then we have Temperance, the energy of Sagittarius. You know, this is that energy where I feel like sometimes you just got to speak up, be very straightforward. Um, and it, you may even hurt someone's feelings, but it's kind of like, so be it, okay? Um, this is a situation I feel like that has reached a point where it's it has to stop or end and this is you standing in your truth and in your power okay and you know speaking it letting somebody have it letting someone know that they are disrespecting you or they are overstepping their boundaries okay you know i see you really looking out for number one right here making sure that you got your own back okay and i definitely you know, feel like this is you working towards balancing relationships with other people, okay? You understand how important it is to have balance. Not just balance within yourself, but balance within all the relationships that you have. And I see where you have realized that some of those relationships are out of balance, okay? And you guys are wanting to achieve this balance right here, where you have balance between the spiritual and material realm, okay? Where you're doing that inner alchemy, where you're creating something, where you're believing in yourself. I'm getting a very spiritual energy right now. I just love it. I'm <laughs> very powerful. You guys are definitely working on the yourselves you're doing the great work here and you've realized that you are not going to be somebody's you're not going to be the one that someone keeps crapping on okay or keeps disrespecting or keep someone keeps overstepping their boundaries with you you're done you're done with it okay and this is you having the self-confidence and believing in yourself and taking a stand and you're not backing down you're doing what's right and what's just for you at this time. There will be no compromises, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm getting right here. And this was needed, okay? Somebody needed a reality check. Now, this could have been work-related. This could be family. This could be friends, okay? All right, so we have the star, the energy of Aquarius, and we have the six of pentacles. Again, we're talking about balance. I'm also seeing a healing that is taking place within your finances, okay? Some of you have definitely had a lot of financial setbacks and heart, hardships, and there's a healing, okay, that is taking place. You're going to be coming out of that. You're going to be blessed because you have blessings coming to you, all right? You know, whenever you receive the Six of Pentacles, it talks about making sure that you have balance between give and take relationships, some of you are seeking balance. Some of you are setting up boundaries. Others of you have this balance. And you're receiving blessings. Okay? Some, th these blessings that are coming in are material blessings. Okay? It's money. Now, I do feel some of you have been waiting on a court case. Okay? Maybe an inheritance. Anything that's legal. Workman's comp. Anything. Okay? Where money is owed or due to you I do see it I, I, hear, I see you getting a, a phone call okay letting you know that it's going to be settled all right and you're getting what is due to you and this is going to make you very very happy and I feel like you were thinking it was going to be you know far off okay in the future before this was going to happen I'm also seeing a healing within the heart chakra, you guys. You're allowing the, a healing to take place. Some of you are going after a dream. You're going after a wish, okay? You're going after your heart's true desire right here. Because you realize it's within reach. You can do it. All right, we've got the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy with the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is you taking action, okay, using power with intent, not backing down. You know what you want and you're going after it, okay? And you're not going to stop until you get it. And I have a feeling it has to do with this, this new beginning. 
you're listening to your gut, your intuition, and you're going with it, okay? This is a fresh start for some of you. Now, this fresh start could be you moving, okay? It could be you getting a, a different job, maybe going back to school. It's going to mean something different to each of you because there are so many of you watching. Now, for others of you, if you're open and ready for a new love, it's here, okay? It's here. All right, now we've got the Three of Swords, okay, with the Hierophant, the energy of Taurus. Like I said, six to seven weeks, divine timing is always the right timing, okay, you guys? And remember, be patient, all right? Be patient and have fun while you wait, okay? That's what it's telling you right here. There's an opportunity coming in here, you guys, that's really going to allow for you to step into your power, okay? You're going to take these keys, and you're going to unlock doors, and you're going to walk through them, all right? You're going to rock it. This is you making a commitment to yourself, your higher self, okay? That you're going to do what it is that you've made your mind up to do. I feel like the reason why I'm saying this, for, for one or two of you, you've been saying this over and over again, but when it comes time, you don't take that, that next step, you, you procrastinate, and then you just don't do it, okay, and then it builds back up again. This is your time. You won't be backing out. I feel like there's a lot of I feel like you're being blessed with a lot of courage, okay? And the spirit of perseverance. I feel like it's finally dawned on you that you got this, you can do this, it's achievable. But it requires you to act on it. And as long as you act on it, okay, you will achieve it. Now some of you, this is finishing school. Others of you, this is getting a new job. Okay? Maybe this has to do with maybe a spiritual path or journey you're on as well. Okay? But you're going to complete it. Some of you are moving up within a company or corporation. All right? Into a position of authority, maybe management, within the next six to seven weeks. Thank you, Spirit. All right. I see a lot of, you know, strength, inner strength that is going to be shown on Friday the 11th, okay? Not holding back for nothing. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. That's right. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. All right, you guys, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation, okay? I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.